My name is Kaylin. On January 30th, 2021, I was 23 years old. On this day, I made several bad decisions that resulted in the death of a very sweet and innocent young lady. She was not a stranger to me and she was someone that I knew. On this day, I destroyed the lives of her family and her friends. I'm a felon for the rest of my life and I will be sentenced to prison within the next few days. I never had any episodes of breaking the law prior to this. Let me tell you a story of the events that led up to this. My boyfriend is in the National Guard and was sent to Washington, D.C. following the riots on January 6th, 2021. On January 30th, I thought that my boyfriend was coming home that night to surprise me. That day, I went out drinking with several friends to several restaurants and bars and consumed many alcoholic beverages throughout the day. Later that evening, I was at a friend's house when I got into my vehicle to drive. My friends asked me not to drive, but I thought I was fine. My friends told me that they would drive me home and I thought I was fine. That was one bad decision. Throughout my drive home, as my vehicle approached a hill, I checked my phone to see my boyfriend's location, thinking that he was at home to surprise me. Within that moment, a black box in my vehicle indicated that my wheel had turned, causing my vehicle to go into the alternate lane, which striked the oncoming vehicle, which was my friend's car. She died at the hospital later that night. My actions are completely irresponsible and the damage has already been done. The worst part of this process is not only living with myself for what happened and destroying so many lives, but throughout this, the legal system has prevented me from apologizing in person or through letter to her family or to her friends. My actions cannot be reversed and I have to live with this for the rest of my life. Do not drive after you've been drinking and do not check your phone while you've been driving.